Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm bringing you the auto comment and auto like bot, a bot that many of you have been waiting for, the most complete one we have so far. And this bot actually has a ton of options. So in this video, I'm going to explain everything you can really do with it. And at the end, um, I'll leave a link in the description for those of you who are interested in getting it, okay? As I always say, try to automate as many processes as possible so you don't have to rely on staff and pay salaries when, in the end, a simple automation can do all the work for you. You can use these bots on unlimited accounts. In other words, it's an extension. The point of this is not to use it on just one account, but to adapt this process yourself so you can use it on hundreds of accounts, just like we're doing right now. So, without getting too sidetracked, let's move on to the bots functions. Here, first we've set up different options. The auto likes feature, and then there's the very interesting stealth mode, which is basically ninja mode. What is this for? Basically, what this does is imitate human behavior and randomize the actions. Why is this so important? In the end, what um, gets your account banned is performing constant repetitive actions at the same time and mimicking bot-like behavior. So if we have this enabled, what we'll do is have the bot imitate, in this case, human behavior. And that way, well, the accounts can last much longer. In the end, this isn't the only thing. The quality of the proxies you use will also have an impact as well as the actions themselves. Don't go overboard with the number of actions either. Then, regarding the filters for where you want to give uh, likes and comments, you can filter by post, by users. Uh, you can also set it so that it doesn't post, uh, give likes or comment twice on the same posts. Uh, regarding languages, you have a wide range of filtering options, okay? What else can you do here? And in the end, you have many more uh, settings. If you go to full settings, you'll find a lot more options here, okay? You can set the maximum number of posts you want interactions on per session. In this case, let's set it to 35. In this case, delay between actions is the delay you want between actions. Here I recommend setting a wide range. 30 seconds is good. And here, for example, you can put 183 minutes and uh, enable auto likes, okay? We enabled stealth mode earlier so that the accounts last longer. Here, I also recommend that you enable the option to respect limits and for actions per hour, don't set it to more than 20, okay? If you want your accounts to last, well, that's up to you. But anyway, in this case, I recommend that you don't go overboard with actions per hour because otherwise you'll get banned very quickly since the people at threads are getting stricter and stricter. What else can you do here? Avoid duplicate posts. In this case, I also recommend enabling this so it doesn't comment twice on the same post. Scroll protection, set it here, don't touch it, just leave it in the default mode. And another very interesting thing that we've recently added is that now you are able to enter your own OpenAI API key directly into the system. From there, once you've entered it here, your own personal ChatGPT will automatically generate the comments for you, so you won't even have to think about what comments to make yourself, because the system will handle it for you. In other words, this bot can be linked directly to your OpenAI API key. What else can you do? You can add multimedia files here. I recommend that you upload quite a few files. There's a limit of 50, okay? So don't go over that, but I also don't recommend doing more than 50 actions, so that's more than enough. Next, I recommend that you set it to random order here. And finally, for templates, you can add templates for making comments, okay? Here you can add as many as you want, or you can also link it with AI and have it do it for you. Finally, let's do a test now so you can see it for yourselves. These would be more filters. Like I said, it has a ton of options. That is, you can filter all of this here. When it comes to words, you can choose which words you want to appear. So, I mean, it's a really complete bot, honestly. You would click save settings and everything would be saved. Let's go ahead and click start. And now the bot will begin commenting on the different posts. It's important that you leave it on the feed tab so it can proceed without any issues. If you also want it to automatically leave likes, you need to toggle the option where it says auto likes and it will start liking posts automatically as well. In this case, we deactivate it because we don't want to overuse the account with too many actions. We only want comments, but depending on your accounts, if they're more warmed up or if you want to perform more actions, remember that you also have that option. Also, just to remind you again, you'll find the link to get this bot in the description and feel free to mention it. If you have any questions about installation, you can also ask. And as you can see, it's making comments continuously according to how we've set it up. 
We didn't go all out either. This is just an example so you can see the options available. Take care, guys.